Hey friends, it's Brian here, and it's another junky truck vehicle car video. Yeah, whatever. So I'm working on my 1990 F350, and I was going to replace the turn signal switch, but it turned out that um, I have tilt steering. Yeah, let me pull this off. Not only do I have tilt steering, this is called a bail. Yeah, I have other words for it. I call it a piece of shit. That's what I call it. And the bale is held on by... I don't even know where the other one went. So these stupid little clips hold the bale on and they're $35 a fucking piece. you got to be kidding me. Because some pirate brought them up. $10 is bad enough. I mean, there might be a quarter of a cent of material here. But... Apparently some pirates have bought them up and they're selling them for $35 a piece. And this is like $35 or $40 bucks too if you can find one. So, you know, $120 for two stupid little clips. That one's broken. And um, the uh, this stupid piece of wire here. So this piece of wire sits in here like this. And basically what happens is when you twist the, uh, when you push the, the lever forward, it pushes on this, and this pushes on this, and it actually causes this end of the lever to go up, which unlocks the teeth. So if we take that out and we take this little spring out, which is probably also unobtainable, we can accomplish the same thing a couple of different ways. I'm gonna go get something, I'll be right back. So I've got a pair of locking pliers here because I wanna show you how this works. So basically when you put, pull, pull, actuate this lever, it unlocks. And it's important to actuate it all the way because the little teeth on here are actually somewhat fragile. Now, in my case, I'm the only one that drives my truck. I don't see that changing. So I'm gonna delete the stupid lever and I'm gonna modify this. Now. What I need to decide is how do I want to modify it. Um, whatever I do is going to involve opening up a hole in the bottom of this. And I, I think this piece of pig metal, emphasis on pig, is more than sufficiently strong enough to, to endure whatever I decide to do to it. Now, because I only need to force this one way, one option would be to incorporate, actually have something that just screws in and build a handle for the stupid thing and be done with it. Uh, let me see where the handle is for this and see what thread it is. So the turn signal stalk or handle is quarter 28 thread. One option would be to build a little handle for this, not this long, but, but something maybe that long. So you could just hold the steering wheel and, and uh, lever it. Um, but that requires drilling this little piece here, and this is a $70 piece, which I'm, I'm not so worried about. I, I can do that. I, uh, let me look at it a little more. Yeah, let me go look and see how hard that is to take out. I might do that. So, in the interest of simplicity, I'm not going to modify this any more than I really have to. Um, hang on. All right, so this sits in here like this, and we're going to measure this. Let me show you what I've done. So I've put a mark here that indicates exactly where this is. And now I'm going to put a slot in here. So let's go put a slot in this. So I have a milling machine and that's what I'm going to use to put the slot in. So let me get it set up. I'm going to put it in time lapse while I do the setup so that you always don't have to watch the slow process of setting up the milling machine.
Okay, so I only have uh, a square end mill. I don't have the, uh, I don't have a ball end mill, so I'm not really supposed to make a plunge cut with this, but it's fixed to happen anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna go back and forth and work my way through the material. This material is real light. I don't wanna crack it, but I don't wanna destroy this bit today. I need to get some end, some ball mills, damn it. Um, that's what I should probably have loaded in here by default. But this is just a standard end mill and it's a chin ported one, so it's cheap. Anyway, I'm gonna fire up my phase converter. Um, that takes the standard single phase in my house and makes three phase out of it. Um, and the mill runs on three phase. There are other ways to do that, but I just happen to have a vacuum that I don't use anymore. So yeah, that's what it gets used for. Unlock my cross slide. So there are other ways to cut a slot in this. Um, it does not have to be perfect. So this one is not perfect. Uh, there's a little step down on the front, but you know what? This is gonna work just fine for the purposes of bypassing the um tilt lever and um you know it would be better if it was a little further but yeah again you know i'm not gonna get caught up in this it doesn't matter it's, it's a fucking junky truck it's a work truck and I'm not gonna adjust the power steer or the tilt steering on a regular basis so it doesn't matter if you don't have a milling machine don't sweat it you could drill a couple of holes carefully with a good saw and accomplish the same thing. Um, let me show you what we're actually working on here. This paves the way to use the replacement Harbor Freight tilt steering lever and it prevents it from going in too far and gives you and doesn't let, you know, it should hit just the tip of that. So let's go see. So here we are. We'll just slide this in. Okay. And then um, let's put a couple of screws in. We'll just put one in. All right, maybe two because we're feeling a little OCD today. should be able to be done is we should be able to use the Harbor Freight replacement lever. 
also available at Sears Craftsman. Okay, so that's easy. That's one way to do it. The other thing you should be able to do is put this in. Yeah, I like pushing up better. I think that's a simpler way to actuate it. Um, and again, So this will give you guys a view of what I'm actually doing. This is going to be a little painful to watch. So when you put the screwdriver in, you're pushing up on that lever. And that is a no parts cost item. By the way, I have one of these available. I think the going rate's $35, and I have another little clip around here, too, if somebody wants to pay me 70 bucks for that junk. Um, yeah, seriously, I just can't believe they get $35 for five cents worth of fucking wire. Um, so anyway, that's, that's how I'm going to fix my tilt steering lock. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful, and I hope this gets a few of you out of jams with your old, junky Ford vehicles.